Alright, so I want to talk about what is quite possibly the most non-issue thing I could possibly talk about with video games. That being, the X button. I'm not even going to try to dance around it. Why does every company have to put their X button in a different spot on the controller? Why can't we just have a standard? Better yet, why does every company think they even have to use an X button in the first place? Oh, ooh, maybe... Maybe that's why? This is something I have thought a lot about, embarrassingly so, but honestly, why does every controller have to put their X button in a different spot from the others? No joke, you can make a controller mashup where all of the face buttons are the X buttons of different controllers. I made my version of this controller with paint in less than 5 minutes, and that's including the time it took to Google the controllers. And this... this is where the problem arises. Every company and controller have the X button in a unique location different from the others, and it's not even a button that you have to use. I've recently taken a look at the start and select buttons, which makes sense for every controller to have, yet they don't. But then there's the X button, which doesn't have to be used at all, yet it's on every controller like it's some sort of requirement. For a lot of controllers, it makes sense to have an X button. You've got one row with A, B, and sometimes a C button, and then another row of buttons with X, Y, and sometimes Z. This is what Nintendo and Sega started to use when they upgraded from just having the A and B face buttons and other companies have followed suit ever since. Now, I kind of expected an X button to be on some obscure and forgotten and overlooked controller that no one knows about, but from what I can tell, the first X button to show up on a controller was the Super Nintendo. And this leads to the question, why X? It makes sense with six face buttons, you know, ABC and XYZ, but if the SNES controller was the first to use X, why didn't they go with Y and Z? I've seen a few articles and posts talking about this, so it's not the dumbest question to ask. You've got the A and B buttons representing the beginning of the alphabet, and then you would just have the Y and Z for the end of the alphabet. You could also ask why not keep moving forward in the alphabet with C and D? Well, SNK's Neo Geo actually did this, and, well, something just looks bootleg about this. You could say Nintendo went with the face buttons being X and Y because the triggers are the Z buttons, but that didn't actually start until the Nintendo 64 when they started labeling triggers as the Z button. The SNES triggers are just labeled L and R. My initial hypothesis as to why I think it's the X and the Y button instead of C and D or any other button labels is that in math, it's common to use X and Y as the two main variables, especially with like algebra and calculus and all that. Those two letters are just commonly paired together in that scene. Another guess that I had was that when you say the alphabet, you commonly say X, Y, and Z, so the Z is somewhat separated away, once again pairing up X and Y perfectly. It could also be that since Nintendo is a Japanese-based company, you know, a country that doesn't use the Roman alphabet as commonly, X and Y are more easily distinguishable as letters as opposed to Z, which could be mistaken as a 2. All in all, I don't think anyone really knows, and it's just most likely a design choice someone made without thinking too much about it. All that really matters is that we're stuck with the darn thing and we can't get rid of it, and like I've said, every controller feels the need to use it. Now, if you do want a controller here where the X makes sense, PlayStation has that one covered. If you don't know, the PlayStation buttons could basically be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Each shape requires a different number of lines to represent that shape. So circle is one line, and the X or cross button is two lines. Triangle three and square is of course four lines. So with X being two lines, that makes sense for it to be in the spot of where Nintendo has their B button, or basically the second button. This is where the snowball effect starts that leads to the X being different for the big three controllers that we have today. So if we take a look at a standard controller with the 1 through 4 button scheme in mind, like I said, it makes sense for PlayStation's X to be where Nintendo's B is. Not the biggest deal in the world. Also, Nintendo uses letters while Sony PlayStation uses shapes with the X button officially being the cross button for PlayStation. But here's the problem. If 
functionally speaking, these controllers are backwards or flipped or mirrored, however you want to think about it. If you've ever played both of these consoles, you know that functionally, the cross button on a PlayStation controller acts very similarly to an A button from a Nintendo controller, which doesn't even make sense because an X or cross symbol usually means no or back just like a B button does on other controllers, where a circle usually is like yes. And if Sony didn't switch the functions around, we wouldn't have this sin of the Xbox. The Xbox didn't want to put effort into trying with their controller, so they took the ABXY from Nintendo and just slapped it onto the functionality of a PlayStation layout. That is the snowball that got us three different X button locations in three different console generations. Then, Nintendo decided to make it four for four with the GameCube. Ultimately, you know how hard this makes quick time events? A game wants me to quickly press the X button and my 16 brain cells are just firing off at max speed just to figure out which controller I'm holding and which console I'm playing on and maybe even what game I'm playing. Yeah, <sighs> Look, it's not the biggest deal and honestly this is just more of a shower thought at best, but come on. I used to think this was because Nintendo had some weird copyright or trade secret or whatever on the ABXY layout, so other companies just flipped it, but you can't copyright a letter, so it was Xbox's own free will that made them put the X in a different location. PlayStation gets a small pass since it's shapes and technically the cross button, but then Nintendo just changes things up with the GameCube for no reason. If you play multiple different consoles, you just get used to the buttons being in different places, but this shouldn't be an issue to begin with. I shouldn't have to think about where the X button is, and I know I'm not alone on this because we've got impact font memes, and that just means it's relatable. <sighs> Why does this controller have two X buttons?